what narcissists really think about no contact. When you go no contact with a narcissist, they think there's no replacement for them. They think there's no one who can take their place. They think you will never find someone who can do what they did for you. They think no one can make you feel the way they did. Which is why when they first targeted you, they love bombed you. They went in excess of your expectations because they understand that your initial perception of them is very important. That's how you ended up with them. And even when you go no contact, they just see it as a temporary disengagement. They don't believe that you can make it without them. They expect you to doubt yourself. They expect you to feel like you made the wrong decision. They expect you to become lonely. They expect you to miss them. And many victims do return to the narcissist. They confirm the narcissist's expectations. Narcissists are very arrogant. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. They have an overbearing attitude of superiority. They are unpleasant and behave as if they are more important than other people. Because they think they're better than everyone else. They think there's no one else like them. So when you think you can find someone better than them, they just see it as a joke. It's amusing to them. They think you're a fool. But even if you do return to them, they still think you're a fool. They think you deserve everything they do to you. If you choose to come back. They think you deserve all of their insults and put downs. They think you deserve the abuse. Because they see you as someone who is beneath them. They see it as though if you're with them, you can't be anything great. If you were anything great, you wouldn't choose to be around them. Because they know they're not something to be valued. They know they're not something that you should want to be around. But if you stay no contact, and you don't go back to the narcissist, it bruises their ego. They see it as an insult. It causes a narcissistic injury and they become very angry. Because you've bruised their ego. You've proved them wrong. You've brought them back to reality. Where they're forced to accept who they really are. Because if you've got no contact with a narcissist, it's because you've figured them out. You see who they really are. And who they really are is not worth anything. It's not worth your time. If you could see who they really are, you would feel no desire to be around them. And when you leave the narcissist, they realize that you do see who they really are. They may still try to get you back, but it's not because they care about you. It has nothing to do with you. It's just to reduce their pain and discomfort because they're suffering from a bruised ego. 
they no longer feel special or important. And they need to feel like that, to feel like they're worth something. They don't hoover you because they care about you. They don't hoover you because they value your relationship. They don't do that for you. They already know what they are. They already know that they manipulated you. They already know that they played games with you to keep you as their source of supply. They know exactly what they're doing. They know they lied to you. They know they fooled you from the very beginning. But they just see it as a form of entertainment. They see it as a game. And it brings them amusement and enjoyment. But when you're really done with a narcissist, that's when they realize that you're not so stupid after all. You figure them out. You see them for who they really are. You put an end to their games. You put an end to their fun. The narcissist did so many horrible things to you, but many of you choose to stay. You remain loyal and devoted to them. You give your life to them. But when you do that, they're laughing at you behind your back. Because they've just tricked you into giving them privileges and special treatment that they don't even deserve. They're playing a game with you. And if you don't figure out that they're playing a game, they believe that you deserve everything they're doing to you. They believe that you deserve all of the lying, cheating and stealing. Because you're stupid. If you were smart, you wouldn't have put up with it. You would have figured it out a long time ago. But they set it up in a way where it was impossible for you to figure it out. Because they left out so many pieces of information. They left out so many facts that were vital to you understanding what you were really dealing with. Because they knew that was the only way that you would keep them around. If you didn't know the full story, if you didn't know everything that you should have known about them. Because that's what keeps you stuck with a narcissist. When you're trying to figure everything out. When you're trying to understand what you're dealing with. But they're just feeding you lies. They're giving you information that's only going to mislead you even further. To where you're left with no other option. Other than to accept that you never had the answers. The answers were never there. So your only choice is to stop trying to figure it out. To stop trying to put the pieces together. Because they're always going to make up their own rules to benefit themselves. It's premeditated. They never intended to give you the answers so that you could then figure it out. It was a setup right from the start. You were playing fair. But they already had the game rigged. It was already set up to benefit them. To give them an advantage. But they expected you to figure it out before you put in the work. And even if you did figure it out, they would just find someone else who was unsuspecting. Someone else who will fall for their plan of arrangement. Because if you don't figure it out, they believe that you deserve everything they're doing to you. Because if you were smart enough, you would have figured it out. But 
when you finally decide to move on. They're surprised that it took you that long to figure it out. They're not happy about it because they will miss out on the benefits and conveniences that you provided to them. But they still benefited without having to make a fair contribution to you, without you consistently questioning or criticizing them. From the use of this imaginary character that they use to deceive you, to make you put in all of the work and making you think that you were building a relationship together when it was just a setup from the very beginning. Which is why there were so many things that didn't make any sense. Which is why there were so many things that seemed unfair. So many things that confused you about them and their intentions and objectives. Because you were manipulated and controlled by deceptive and dishonest means. You were pulled into something that had no future. And the only purpose of it was to temporarily benefit someone who had no use for you, other than to serve themselves and meet their own selfish needs. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.